Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you for watching my channel. So I recently watched a movie called The Wandering Earth. It's the first supposedly blockbuster from China. Was it worth reading all those subtitles? <laughs> Before I go ahead and tell you what I thought about the movie, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel. So Wandering Earth, what is it about? It's Again, it's a Chinese blockbuster movie that costs $50 million. I know in standards of Hollywood, it's not a lot, but for uh, our Chinese uh, film industry, that is a lot. And there is a lot of writing in it. So what was or what was the story about? Wandering Earth was about planet earth getting destroyed because the sun was about to go supernova and it is a sci-fi so what happens is they go ahead and stop the earth from rotating which means some of the earth or some of the climate becomes freezing because the sun no longer earth is no longer <laughs> rotating so they did that i don't know how they did it but they had some engine in the equator to stop the, the rotation and had an engine in the back so they could move the earth, hence the wandering earth. Actually also about the father and son. Father is in the space station, which is if you, this is the earth, the space station is here, becomes like a navigator or a lookout tower. Just like when you go to the ship, you, the older times, there would be somebody on top of like a, a tower or something in the mass that would look beyond and see if there's any iceberg. And like the Titanic, and the iceberg is Jupiter. So they already saw the Jupiter, then Jupiter is, and that's where the conflict begins. Acting wise, it was actually good. It was good enough that it did not take away from the story. It wasn't corny. You know, there's some things that it was, that of course, it's a science fiction about a wandering Earth moving a whole planet, but it was servable. It was very, very good uh, done. And script wise, it, it is a science fiction. It was cheesy. Uh, some of the dialogues you would just, you know, roll your eyes and just say, "Okay, maybe." And it was it was really good because, to be honest with you, with the subtitles, it's kind of worth it because you can really understand it. It makes you alert more of the story watching it there, and that was what made the subtitles very good again the script was cheesy but again at least the subtitles made it more much more clear and much more much better i don't know if it would have been a dub in english it would have been better because you would just look at the action but i was in control it was very entertaining for me in terms of that but it was worth it and it was good enough it was servable just like acting but where it, it shines where it does shine with the $50 million budget is the set design, especially the trucks. Uh, the trucks that uh, move just like the, you know, in the Avatar, but this one is a little bit smaller in scale, but more believable in terms of it will exist. And the interior of these trucks were very good. And it was very much detailed in some. It wasn't, it didn't look like computer generated. It looked like they really, created that set or that truck or the inside of that truck which was very good it was tactile you can really feel it even though you knew it was cgi it was good enough that it not take away from the story the cinematography was really great and it was the landscape and the panning shot you could see with it uh wandering earth the x factor for it was very good i love the science fiction of it it knew what kind of movie it was. It's a science fiction, really delivered. And there's not a, a love interest here, so that was really refreshing because usually Armageddon stories, there's always a love interest. This was more about family, more about father and son, uh, sister and brother, and how, and the how we should work together. And that is a great message of this movie. And I really liked it that way. And so that is why I would say this is worth watching, even though you have to read those uh, subtitles. If it is in your movie theater, I would say go ahead and watch it. It doesn't have to be the biggest screen. It would be matinee for me. If 
you can stream it too. Go ahead and stream it. I think it's going to be in Netflix soon. So go ahead and watch it. It is not a must-see, but it is worth watching. The Wandering Art. Have you ever watched any other uh, foreign movies? I actually had one more a stream job from Korea. Uh, I will go ahead and uh, review that soon. But go ahead and leave a comment down below of what other foreign uh, movies you've watched and you've liked. Crouching Tiger, maybe? <laughs> but anyway, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And like always, that's a wrap. Oh, 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 oh